I love high level, but the other day I was talking to another agency owner who was frustrated because his websites look cheap and outdated. If you felt the same way, you probably noticed that some of the templates look a little bit generic. And when you try building something from scratch, it just doesn't look high quality. I spent over 1000 hours building websites on the platform. So today I'm going to share a few tricks that I use to build GHO websites that look stylish and clean. I'm going to walk you through four things that I do on all of my websites. And as I go through these different things that I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to compare my website right here. This is my AI agency SaaS template. And on the other hand, I'm going to compare it to a website like this. This website looks very similar to the website that the agency owner that I had the conversation earlier looked like. The first mistake that I see is that a lot of websites use branding that is not consistent. If you take a look at this site, at a first glance, it seems like there's too much going on, too many colors, which subconsciously make this website look cheap. In comparison, if we take a look at this website right here, you see how I only stuck to three colors, black, white and purple for the accent you see that everything's very consistent i wanted to show you this website right here it's like a payment processor i think here you see that they have different shades of green so they're adding multiple colors but it's still like the same color palette you see that even the images have that accent of green which make it so that it's very on brand as i scroll down here even the video has a green background and then the graphics here are also green so even though they're using multiple colors the shades of colors that they're using work well with each other now for the second thing that makes my high level websites look stylish and clean i wanted to show you this website right here more specifically take a look at this section right here at a first glance looks very beautiful even though it doesn't have too much going on in this case however you see that it's too crammed so what i would do is if there's a way to space this out i would just do this just like this not only that though i would play around with the line height right here i have a line height of 1.2 which is very very tight especially for a longer paragraph let's say a two line height just like this a lot more spaced out much more clean but also something else is i'm gonna make these headlines a little bit bigger so instead of 28 36 kind of like what you see right here and it's gonna make it so that there's more hierarchy and it's easier for a user to scan the content now something else is i want to give more space in between these items right here so what i would do is let's say add 20 pixels here at the bottom between each of these different elements just like this of course there's a lot of other things that i would do and in my case specifically i would rebuild a a website for a business that has a site like this but i'm just giving you actionable steps that you can start taking on your site for the third thing that makes a site on high level look stylish and clean is having engaging and relevant visuals in this case you see that this website has a cool video here that shows how this SaaS or this platform works you see that's very interactive and down here there's like another video showing what the SaaS can do is very relevant and it confirms or complements the copy in my website right here it made sure that i added graphics that are very relevant so in this case if i'm talking about getting reviews effortlessly i have a graphic that not only is interactive as you see right here but it's specifically talking about reviews it helps confirm the copy it complements the copy same thing here for voice ai never miss a call capture leads 24 7 and then it's a graphic illustrating how this customer is calling the business and the ai is taking that call if we compare something like this to something very generic like this you see that these graphics don't really complement what the copy is saying or don't explain what the software does or what it actually looks like in fact i see a lot of high level websites that just took this graphic from high level's actual site a lot of the times the colors that they have on the website are completely different to the colors of the graphics. So that's why it also doesn't look consistent and cohesive. So just making sure that not only the graphics that you use are relevant, but are on brand with the website like you see right here. The last thing that I do to make my website look stylish and clean on high level is adding custom effects. And the reason why is so that the website doesn't look flat and it's a little bit more interactive and customer engaging. In this case, you see this cool carousel, which I've shown how to do in some videos. As I scroll down here, you see that on this section, as I hover over each of these different cards, they become bigger. It's just very interactive, very cool. If I go to a website like this, it's very flat. There's no feedback as I go and scroll and consume this content. In this case, you see that, first of all, this moving text is very interactive, incentivizes the user to scroll. The gradient here subconsciously is also making it so that a user wants to see what's at the bottom and start scrolling. And for the buttons, something that you can do is add some feedback. So when you hover over a button, there's some sort of effect or something that happens so that it incentivizes 
the user to click. When I hover over these buttons, they become a little bit bigger and there's like a light glow around it. So it's just like a small touch. Let me show you a different effect that you could do on your high level website that I haven't shared in my previous videos before. So what I'm going to do is click on the custom CSS right here. And if you don't have any code, this will be blank. In my case, I do have some effects. So let me open up some space for myself right here. If you already have my Notion doc, I'm going to be using tutorial 1.9 right here. If you don't have my doc or you don't know what it is, this is the resource that I use every day to build better websites for myself, for my clients. Think of it like cheat codes for better go high level websites. Anyways, I'm going to go to 1.9 right here, how to add cool hover effects to buttons. I've added a few more styles right here. In this video, I'm going to use the style number five right here. I'm going to copy the style five here, go back to high level and then paste it here. I'm going to take note of my custom class. So in this case, it's button hover five. I'm going to copy this and hit save. Now what I'm going to do is click on the button, go to advanced and then tag it or add that custom class like you see me doing right here. Hit enter. What I'm going to do now is go to the site coolers.co. It's like a color generator. What I'm going to do is click on the color, select the picker tool and I want to add a cool shadow to my button that matches the rest of the site. Again, going back to having consistent branding. So I'm not just going to add any random shade of purple. I'm going to add the exact same purple that I have right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this value right here on high level on my code here where it says button hover five hover. I'm going to change the hex code from 000, which is black to this value right here, which is my purple hit save. I'm going to preview this to show you what this looks like on the actual site. As I scroll down here, you see that in the testimonial section. Now, when I hover over that button, it has a cool purple kind of shadow behind it. So it's very cool, very stylish, and it matches the rest of my website. That is how I make my websites on high level look stylish and clean. If you want to get this exact website for your GHO AI SaaS agency, you can click the first link in the description. Or if you want to add the cool effects that I'm showing you in all of these videos, you can click the second link in the description and get access to my Notion doc.